Vamanik's main goal is to keep people's confidence and love, said the Prime Minister. Sales of advanced bus tickets began for upcoming Eid al Fitr today. And the Foreign Minister A.K.M. Abdul Momen sat in a bilateral meeting with the Foreign Minister of Gambia. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV news. I'm Fouza Roshan Akhtar with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines. Now the details. Sheikh Hasina, daughter of father of the nation Bangabundhu Sheikh Muzibur Rahman, returned home on May 17, 1981, after a long life of exile after six years of losing her family and her family members. In the memory of the day, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina received floral greetings by the leaders of Ava League and associate organizations. At that time, the Prime Minister recalled the emotions. The Prime Minister said efforts were made to thwart Ava League after the assassination of Bongobuntu, but did not succeed by the activists. The party's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said the Ava League's main goal is to keep people's confidence and love. Sales of advanced bus tickets began for upcoming Idul Fitr on Friday morning. Long queues of holidaymakers at Gaptuli, Kalyanpur, Mohakali and Jatrabari bus counters as the sales of the bus tickets began ahead of Eid around 6 am. There is a lot of pressure on the northern district's bound buses. Considering the matter of traffic conditions on the road, we are selling the bus tickets. People involved with transport business said that tickets for May 30, 31st and June 3rd are the highest in the demands of homegoers. Kim Abdul Momen sat in a bilateral meeting with the Foreign Minister of Gambia at the state guest house Padma. Talking to reporters after the meeting, the visiting Foreign Minister of Gambia. The two countries have discussed various issues. It is also on the Rohingya issue. Bangladesh also talked about the interest of the two countries. Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momen he said that the two countries will be united in each other's future. Rab Mobile Court marked a raid in the city's Kaptan Bazar market. Executive Magistrate Sarwar Alam ordered a jail to several and sealed some shops for selling old and rotten meat to the public. In the meantime, he warned several dishonest traders for the first phase. Although most of the participants in the court's presence offer shingles, unhealthy and expired animal meat after being caught in the hands. Later, they were made to destroy them. Meanwhile, the locals thanked to the the mobile course for the raid. Viewers, that's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit www.youtube.com/slash my TV BD news and to watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com/slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7:30 pm. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.